Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Litecoin. So, how high will halfening hype push the Litecoin price? So, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop or hard fork. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Another thing is uh, the Neo Def Con. It will be in Seattle. It will be six days, six more days. Uh, if you are going there, please comment below. Also, you can DM me in Twitter. I probably will go into the Neo Def Coin. Uh, Def Coin. So let's get into that. Let's talk about the Litecoin halfening. So this article basically basically talk about the halfening will be coming up in 179 days, which is around August this year. And the block reward for the miners right now is 25 uh, coins for Litecoin right now. For the halfening, which will be occur on August this year, will be uh, 12.5 coins. So the basically from 25 coin to 12.5 coin for the halfening for Litecoin. And for Bitcoin, it will be on May 2020. So Bitcoin currently for every block, the miners will get 12.5 Bitcoin right now. And by May 2020, it will cut to 6.25 um, Bitcoin for the reward. So every time there's a halfening, there will be potential uh, price uh, pump. And also there will be a potential uh, bull run coming up. So this is just based on historical data. And... Um, so basically, they're talking about how high uh, the Litecoin will be pushing up because of the halfening. And it is pretty interesting. They are saying that uh, if you're not accumulating uh, Litecoin right now, you may want to consider adding Litecoin to your portfolio. And this article is published on February 10, which is on, which is on Saturday. And uh, when they publish something like that, it's probably too late to buy, right? It's actually based on technical analysis. Right now, it's a good time to sell, not to buy. If you read in those article and you go to buy, oh, you probably, <laughs> you, it's not a good idea. So always look at the chart. So don't just read the article and FOMO in. So whenever the article talk about it, it's, it's too late. So I probably will wait um, bef uh, when uh, they go back down before I buy. And another thing, uh, I think the price has been increased uh, very drastically. Uh, drastically. Uh, let's see, go, go to Litecoin. If you go to 7-day chart, uh, this is like a hockey stick going up like this. Every time a hockey stick goes up like this, it probably will go back down again. Uh, if you go to Cornergy. So this is a hockey stick like this. Probably if they go that fast, it will go back down uh, easily. So just be careful out there. Uh, right now is a good time to sell, not to buy. And uh, all this article, uh, when you read this, uh, is to, uh, I think, buy the rumor, sell the news, right? Isn't it? And if you haven't installed the Brave browser, you can click the link below. I like the, uh, the Brave uh, browser because uh, it blocks all the uh, advertising and all that. And uh, that is pretty cool. And so they talk about August 8, 2019, Litecoin will undergo a block reward happening. So we talk about that. Uh, the reward will be cut by half from 25 coins to 12.5 coin. And for in terms of Bitcoin, it will be happening on May 24, 2020. So uh, they that uh, so they, they said they will be trigger uh, the next major bull run. So this is the daily chart for the uh, Litecoin. It, burst out the 200 moving uh, simple moving average and um, because of the announcement of the confidential transactions uh, they're working on it anytime uh, they always give reason why it got a pump blah blah I mean who cares uh, always look at the chart and and then they are saying that uh, they're saying that such such a dramatic spike in the volume and also uh, because uh it go above the crucial moving average, a like 200, 200 day moving average. It is uh, within reason that Litecoin has officially entered a new bull market. And uh, not so fast, actually. 
And that said, Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency uh, market are still firmly in the control of the bear. And so assuming that Litecoin is officially out of the woods may not be particularly wise, that is absolutely true. Because uh, all the altcoins follow Bitcoin. If Bitcoin hasn't been out of the bear market yet, the rest of the coin is still, is still um, you know, at the mercy of the Bitcoin, basically. And another thing is... Um, so they talk about that um they let's see yeah they they talk about uh uh Litecoin stochastic stochastic RSI is out of the oversold territory blah blah, blah. and uh, but the uh let's let's look at the other chart so in terms of the market cycle Litecoin uh is already finished the market cycle and if you go this side by side with this uh psychology of uh, market cycle Wall Street shit shit. Uh, Litecoin probably uh, is already finished the market cycle, and uh, for Bitcoin, let's see for Bitcoin. For Bitcoin, I I don't think Bitcoin finished the market cycle yet at the moment. Uh, but I could be wrong. But I think we are very near the bottom. But I could be wrong too because the whale is the one who control the price of Bitcoin because only a handful of wallet control the majority of the Bitcoin. So it's up to the whale how they want to play the game. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so what do you think uh, about the half, uh, the next happening, and for the Litecoin? Do you think it will push the price of Litecoin higher? And what's your price prediction for Litecoin uh, for the happening in August this year? And it is pretty interesting. Some YouTubers saying it will go to a thousand. Uh, I I doubt it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what's your price prediction of Litecoin uh, for the upcoming months before the uh, August the uh, happening? I would like to hear from you. Please comment below and. Uh, if you find this video helpful, smash the like, subscribe, also share with your friends and comment below as well. That will help my ranking in YouTube and I will continue to provide quality video for you guys. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO or cryptocurrency has inherent risk. Please use a due diligence.